Some breaking news overnight out of Indonesia, where at least 174 people were killed during a riot and a stampede after a soccer game. NBC's Molly Hunter has details for us. Molly, what happened here? Willie, good morning to you. Now, officials are saying it is one of the deadliest soccer incidents ever to happen in the world, uh, really in history. So we are seeing those horrific scenes. The death toll this morning is climbing. What we know, Willie, is that it was a packed stadium in East Java, possibly over capacity, and the home team lost to their arch rivals for the first time in decades. Now, video shows crowds from the home side, Willie, rushing onto the field. Skirmishes then started, officials say. Fans were throwing bottles at the players, at soccer officials, and they started clashing with police. But then, Willie, it escalates. Riot police fire tear gas into the crowd. And what happens then is why we are seeing that huge death toll. It causes a massive stampede towards the main exit of the stadium. So all of a sudden, Willie, you have got 40,000 people all heading for the same exit. Now, tear gas is banned at stadiums by FIFA. And the organization's president this morning says the soccer world is in a state of shock. The death toll right now is at least 174 people. A lot of those people, Willie, were injured in the stampede, were suffocated, were trampled. We know at least 200 people have injuries, critical injuries, and they are still in the hospital. And we understand the soccer season in Indonesia has been paused while a full investigation takes place. Willie. Wow. Just a horrifying scene there. Molly Hunter in London for us today. Molly, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.